Hey guys, it's Angel Bee here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. And today we are going to be looking at my favourite shader packs. These are like my all time favourites for 1.12 and above. One thing I'd like to know before we get into this video is soon I have a new series coming and I know I've been promising this for a while. It is a 1.15 really, really small community Minecraft type of server. It's going to be mainly like a single player, but there's going to be at least four or five other people in the world who you may know, which is quite exciting. It's going to be 1.15.2 modded and all the mods that I have been reviewing, they're all going to be in there. Well, most of them are. And that world is going to include build tutorials, it's going to be cinematic, it's going to be really cute and aesthetic and great. <laughs> so yeah, before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. It does really mean a lot to me and it helps out my channel. And let's get right into the video. So this is just default, no shader, just to give you a little look of what it looks like. So my first favourite shader pack is called Sildas Enhanced Vanilla. Now this is a very vanilla style shader pack. As you can see, it still looks like regular Minecraft. However, there is pretty shadows, waving plants, waving leaves, and the water waves too. It's got that very vanilla, non-shader look to it, except it's a shader pack, so it has a really cute, like look at the light here. Sometimes this is all we need. It is not heavy on performance at all, with it only adding a few features, but it is so simple and yet so pretty, and this is definitely one of my favorites if I don't want to use a full on brightening shader pack. I highly recommend this shader pack. It also has a whole bunch of shader options so you can edit it to your liking. This next shader pack is called Silda's Vibrant Medium. Now this is the medium version which has a little impact on performance compared to the high version. This again is one of my favourite shader packs. The only thing that um, I'm a little bit thinking about is the water and that's mainly due to the water fog. But what you can do is obviously go into the shader options and you can change so much about the shader pack. The colours, you can change the colour of the water. So let's say we want it more green, we would bring the green up if we wanted the alpha to be a bit lower. Alpha basically just includes the pigmentation of it, but let's turn the green all the way up. You can see how it changes it. Obviously, you wouldn't want it all to be fully green, but you can just tweak this to however you like. You can add the texture from the vanilla water if you wanted. It has bloom. I prefer bloom with it off. It makes it a bit more easier to look at. It's easier on the eyes. You can just completely tweak the shader pack. Now this again is one of my favorite shader packs. If you watched my videos last year to the year before and the year before that, I would always use this shader pack. This is called Worse High FPS Shader Pack. Extreme. There is different versions, but the Extreme is my favourite. It does use more performance than the other versions. But again, all these shader packs work on lower end computers for me because I used to have a computer that wasn't as good as the one I have now. And I was always trying to find a shader pack that gave me a lot of FPS. And this one definitely does that. One thing I will say is the water texture. It's not that cute right now, but what you can do, again, shader options, and it's in water fog. Turn that off, and then you go, you have regular water again. And then my final favorite is BSL7. Now, this is quite a newer shader pack that I have been using constantly. I used to use older versions of BSL, but this version is definitely my favorite version. It's so stunning. Personally, this is the perfect shader pack. And again, in shader options, this one is fully customizable. I have my bloom turned off, because if you turn it on, I personally think it's a bit blurry, but some people might prefer this. 
it looks more cloudy like this, but I always have bloom off. And within the shader options, you can change the profile to make you have more performance, such as profile low. This will give you the most FPS. Obviously, it won't look as good, but personally, they don't look much different. But you definitely get the most FPS on the low. And it still looks amazing. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please be sure to leave a like if you have. I have all my links in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!